Oh, then come here till I tell you the plan. Okay, this is going to be a bit lethal. So we've come down to Swansea Airport, which we can't see, but is literally, what's it about? It's not even a quarter of a mile, is it? Two or three hundred yards over there. And uh, it's pitch black. It's actually my birthday, so we were celebrating. I'm with Karis and the dog. You see her? <laughs> Um, we were celebrating my birthday and then as it got dark I noticed it was completely clear sky so I thought we'd grab the camera and see if we can get out and do the Milky Way again. I was here a couple of weeks ago after I'm gonna trip over the dog's lead. I can't see a dick I can't see anything. Where's the dog? There she is. Um, I was here a couple of weeks ago and I managed to get a shot of me standing in the road uh, but it was about two or three in the morning um, so there was that, literally no traffic and um, the Milky Way lines up perfectly with the end of the road. Um, so I, I put the camera, I used the, the, uh, the little vl vlogging uh, tripod um, to put the camera really, really low to the ground. Last time I used the Fuji, I'm going to use the Sony this time. Um, so I put the camera really, really low to the ground and um, had the le used the leading line of the... Um, I, do you know what? It's difficult to talk because I can't see anything to describe what I'm talking about. Um, the road markings, that's what I'm trying to say, the road markings on the, on the floor of the main road uh, and I was stood probably about 50 yards up the, uh, up the mar mar markings looking up at the Milky Way. So that's what we're going to try and recreate. And this time, Karis is going to be in the picture as well. Are you even in the video? You can't even see her. <laughs> she, she is. Uh, she's not, I think she's quite happy about not being in the video. But um, yeah, so we're going to try and do that. You can see where the car shot off up there. That's the main road. So we're going to get the camera set up now. And uh, yeah, this will be a quick short outing because Karis is worried about being, for, being back at the house for uh, time to go to bed to get to work in the morning. So yeah, good way to spend your birthday, eh? Not bad. Beautiful, beautiful clear skies. So let's get cracking. So there's two photographs I want to get. Picture me and Cass standing in the middle of the road not getting ran over. And hopefully the dog, that'd be pretty cool as well. Um, the other picture I want to get, if I can get to it, so that's falling over. There's like, um, I don't know what you'd call them. There's these like signs at the side of the road which probably are designed to indicate, can you see, probably, um, if I shine the light over there, you might be able to see them, take that off, you'll see them. They are these things here, you see, uh, if I shine that there, see that? I don't know what it is, but the planes, the airport is just there, just the other side of the road. So I assume these signs here have something to do with the, the planes coming in, knowing how low they can fly. I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to let me know what they're actually called. There's one that's dead on the floor here. <laughs> we know on that one. That's not going to be in the picture. Um, so, well, yeah, we're going to get a picture of them as well with the Milky Way in the background. That'll be cool. And we are going to get, maybe, walk down past all these. There's another one there. See it? What I did last time was I had, the, I had a wide shot of them, um, of them up the side of the road of me standing in it and a, and a portrait shot with the whole Milky Way. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that as well with Karis in the pictures, which will be really cool. So it's the problem I've got now, firstly is I can't see an absolute thing. It is really, really good. The Gower is really good for dark skies. Um, and uh, yeah, the problem I've got is that last time I came down here, the, um, the the Milky Way was kind of visible here about three or four in the morning. Uh, now it's about probably quarter past ten, so there's a lot of traffic going past. So what I'm going to do is set the camera up. Uh, I really need like a, a one or two minute window to get to for us to be safe in the middle of the road. You know, I don't want to I don't want to risk anything. Whereas we're standing in the middle of the road and certainly not having to put the camera low to the floor. And uh, yeah, so um, how long do you reckon that is? Oh, there's another car coming now. They're too often at the minute, aren't they? So we're going to get the camera set up so we can just sort of stand at the side of the road. And we look like a couple of car spotters at the minute, or, or really, really keen night plane spotters. I don't know. <laughs> the good news is, is because it's so dark, you can actually see the cars come in for a good, sort of good half mile, quarter of a mile, because you can see the lights. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's safe enough. And if there's a car coming, we can get out of the way quick enough. I did want a picture of us holding the dog, but there's no way the dog's going to sit still for a 20 second exposure. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a second when we're set up. So it's actually proving quite difficult because, um, oh, fall over. Uh, the uh, cars are coming past really, really frequently. 
Um, I'm still by the roads, by the markings for the planes. I've not actually stood in the road yet. Karis is sitting in the car with a dog. I think she's going to come over and we're going to do a picture standing by this, um, this marker. Um, I will find out what it's called and put it in the description. Um, but as you see, the cars are flying past. And uh, what I've done is I've used photo pills to find where the Milky Way is. I had an idea from last time I was here, obviously, but um, yeah, the Mil Milky Way is perfectly located. And waiting for the traffic to calm down, I've just done a, a long exposure of this marker. Um, I've done a focus stack. So I focused at the stars, at F2.2, uh, ISO 3200, just to get the composition. And I've done a, a focus at 2 F2 on the marker as well. And as it happens, it was quite lucky that from a distance a car was coming and it was really, really far away and it just gave a little bit of glow. So it lit up this, this marker really, really nicely, which my head torch is doing now. Um, but I was worried because it was coming closer and it was flying down the road, I thought it was actually gonna overexpose that, that post. Um, but no, it seems to have done all right. So yeah, focus stacked on the marker. Um, we'll call it a marker, red and white triangle, sign shapey thing. Um, and another focus, I'm gonna fall in this mud, it's not really ideal for kneeling in. Um, and then one on the Milky Way in the background. Uh, 20 seconds, because the, the, um, the rule of 500, so with my lens, I really would not like to, I would, it's probably better off, I don't know what I'm, what I'm kneeling in. Um, with the, um, with astrophotography, so you don't, so you avoid the, sh the trailing. I didn't explain it in my last video, um, but you've got to divide your focal length by, um, by 500, just to get the amount of seconds that you can, you're able to use before you start getting what's called star trailing. So if your shutter's open too long and your, your lens is too far zoomed in, you'll notice the, uh, the, the, the stars aren't pin sharp and, and star shaped, they turn into slight lines. So you don't want trailing. Um, so yeah, get your, uh, so I'm on a 20 mil lens, uh, F2.2, so I, I, so I divide 500 by 20 and that will give me about, say, 25 seconds, but I normally go with uh, 20 second exposures just to be safe. Um, yeah, flipping out, can't believe how busy this road is. We've been sat here half an hour, it's 5 to 11 and it's still mental busy, it's crazy. Are you coming over? Yep, yeah, come on over. I'm gonna do a selfie with the missus by this road sign. How fun's that? Hello. See how that come out. 15 seconds, 2.2, and you're holding the dog. Ah, you can just see a little blob. We're well, a bit close. We're oh, dead fuzzy. 15 seconds. You can't really stand still, perfectly 50, 15 seconds that close to the camera. Good though. Mm -hmm. Okay, right then, let's try the road. That's the middle line. We need to go and put the camera low to the ground on that and stand up there. And obviously if we see any lights coming towards us, we need to run like the clappers and get the camera out the road. Well, the problem we're having is that the, it's quite busy on the road still, which isn't, doesn't feel particularly safe. Let me lift this up a little bit. A bit low down. That's better. Um, and there's a lot of cloud on its way over, which has, for some of the photographs, had, like, it's caught the sort of ambient lights, the street, the light pollution from the other side, the village that's quite far down there. It's caught the um, the street pollution in the cloud. Um, it's low level cloud, so it's, um, yeah, it's lighting up quite nice, but it's blocking the Milky Way quite a lot. So I think looking over that way, it looks clear. So I think the cloud might blow over. Um, and then by which chance the, uh, the road would be a bit safer to, set the camera up. The problem is with setting the camera up low on the, on the, on the road, it's not actually running and standing there for, uh, we've, I've knocked the shutter down to 15 seconds now, so it's a bit, <laughs> it doesn't feel so camera cars, he's standing in the road. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's, it's really nice. I don't think, I don't think we've got the image anything like as good as I did when I was on my own a couple of weeks ago, which is a bit of a shame. I wanted one with me and Karis. Um, 
but yeah, you can still see Mars is quite low. So that looks quite good in the picture. You can't really see the Milky Way very clearly. Um, but yeah, I think we'll give it a couple of minutes, see if this cloud, there's no real breeze, so the clouds are moving very slowly. But we'll see, we'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed. I don't want to get, I'm not giving in just yet. I'm just going to make sure that I can see the Milky Way better now. Okay. It looks clearer. Maybe it might be a smidge left in the left. That was a bit lethal. Right, so um, we've not given up and we actually had a, another few goes. Um, what we have noticed, they're waiting for the weather to, for the clouds to move. The Milky Way doesn't seem to be anywhere like uh, it was in line with the road last time. So the Milky Way is off to the right, which is a bit annoying. So now we can actually see the Milky Way. The clouds have sort of gone um, a little bit. We get, still getting a nice ambient glow, but it kind of adds to the photograph. It adds a bit of color to it. It's quite cool. Um, so we went down to 15 seconds just so we weren't standing there because as you see a car's coming past now. So we don't want to, we don't want to die. <laughs> so we, we were only 15 second exposure. And um, yeah, the, look, the Milky Way is off to the right, so we're gonna. We're, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna get the shot I want now. It's physically impossible. Milky Way is the wrong way, so we're gonna head back. Uh, but it was good. Um, ISO 3200 still didn't change that, even though I'm, no, I might have gone down to 2500 actually. I can't remember. Um, 15 seconds f2.2. Uh, yeah, just using the, the leading line of the of the road up towards us. Hopefully, it came out quite nice. It'd be nice to have a picture of me and Kara's with the Milky Way in the background. Yeah. Nice birthday present. Anyway, we're going to shoot back now and uh, finish off finish off a few of the beers that are left over. Uh, <laughs> um, in fact, it's probably about midnight now, isn't it? Half 11, it's not too bad. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. And uh, just remember again, um, I, well, I didn't actually mention, but I was using the little Joby thing underneath the Sony just to get the, the camera really low to the ground. This is a Takina Fearing F2 20mm lens. Um, I haven't, haven't had this long, I've got to say, as a, as, a, as a prime lens, I mean, I love prime lenses anyway, but this, even, a, even wide open F2, is absolutely tack sharp. It's amazing. Um, I've only just had it, so I won't really tell you too much about it, but it does seem to be really, really awesome. I, it's, it's a lot smaller than the, um, the Samyang 1.8 20mm that I had. That was half the, half the problem I had with that lens. Is it was just too big to take while camping and stuff like that. Uh, but this is nice and small. Um, yeah, really, really nice lens. Loving this. Um, yeah, so that was on the Sony a7 III. Cool. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope the pictures come out all right. Thanks so much. See you soon. Take care.